there's three components of what makes the robot so much better, and it's precision and accuracy. And the, the precision comes from the fact that all of the robotic instruments have seven degrees of freedom, so they're wristed, just like my hands would be. And in a lot of ways, they actually scale the movements so that they're so precise and so fine that we can really control, we can be dissecting off of major blood vessels and really just doing a wonderful job. And the, the second part of that is we can see exceptionally well. And the robotic camera system, because it's a binocular camera, we see everything in 3D. There's no other scope system that allows us to see a 3D view. So you really get, you know, normally just looking on a screen. And when we're in the robotic console, we're actually getting that 3D view. The other thing is, is it's all in high definition. And that extra optical gain that you get from that really allows you to do intricate surgical procedures that you wouldn't feel comfortable doing without those. I would say with robotics, we've eliminated the need for the abdominal approach. There's basically no one that really comes in for cervical cancer or precancer treatment that needs a traditional abdominal type surgery. The technique and our skill, now that we've done hundreds of these surgeries, we're able to safely do them independent of what those patient selection factors are. There's less blood loss, less complications, shorter hospitalizations for that robotic type approach. Usually my patients after robotic surgery are typically going home either the same day or the next day, as opposed to being in the hospital longer. They're using less of their pain medicines. Oftentimes they bring the bottle back to the office and say, hey doc, what do I do with these? I haven't used any of them. They're getting back to their normal activities. I have one patient who loves to garden and she said, when can I get back to gardening? And she was gardening within three days of going home and she was just so happy about that. So I think that from a patient's perspective, what you're basically finding is that it's almost as if they really just, you know, kind of came in and had their surgery and then went back to their lives.